Wuhan Coronavirus, or, 2019 novel coronavirus is currently spreading around the world, but mainly in China. In this video, you will learn how to protect yourself against coronaviruses. First we have to understand how coronavirus infection spreads. In a nutshell, coronavirus spreads via respiratory droplets, which are mainly produced when an infected person coughs or sneezes. As Wuhan coronavirus have been identified to be a zoonotic virus, meaning that you can get it from humans and also from infected animals, being in close contact with certain animals can get you infected. Currently it's not known which animal, or animals can spread this infection to humans. As human-to-human -human transmission of this coronavirus have been confirmed, you can obviously get this infection also from another humans. For example, if person infected by this virus coughs or sneezes, flying droplets can easily spread the disease. When you inhale these airborne tiny pathogens, you can get infected. These droplets can also land to any surfaces. Person coughing or sneezing can also easily spread the virus to all surfaces by touching them with contaminated hands. Touching these infected surfaces, and then touching your mouth, nose or eyes, can get you infected. Similarly, shaking hands with infected person, and then touching your mouth, nose, or eyes can get you infected. In addition to these, also feces may spread this virus. It's currently unknown how long this Wuhan coronavirus can survive on air and on different surfaces, but it's known that infamous SARS coronavirus survived about two days on plastic surfaces. Similar kind of behavior can be expected with this new coronavirus. So how to avoid getting infected? The best way to avoid infection is to avoid being exposed to this virus, in other words, to avoid contact to other humans and avoid public places, basically staying in isolation. Of course, this is not usually possible, as you may have a family, you may have to work outside your home, go to school, go to buy food and so on. If you are in an area where there are detected infections, and you have to move around in public places, you can reduce your risk of getting infection by avoiding persons who seem to be sick and avoiding getting sneezed at or coughed at. Try to avoid crowds as much as possible. Avoid touching door handles, faucet handles, elevator buttons and similar objects that have been touched by numerous people. You can also reduce the risk of getting infected by practicing good hygiene. Also, one thing you could do is to avoid food markets, which sell animals, as Huanan Seafood Market in Wuhan is thought to be the starting point for this virus outbreak. Especially, if you live in China, or areas, where there are a lot of detected infections, it's best to avoid these kind of food markets. As this infection spreads via air, to make sure you don't get infection from the air, via airborne viral particles from a cough or sneeze of infected person, you would basically need to wear a mask around your nose and mouth. This would be only way to be sure that you won't inhale viral particles. Especially in areas of high infection rates, Prober mask will certainly reduce the possibility of getting infection. Note that flimsy masks that are sold in many stores or pharmacies may not fit tightly enough your face. Masks need to be tight to prevent infected droplets to enter from the sides of the mask. After coming home from a public place, discard the used mask, just to make sure that possible infected droplets that may exist at our surface of the mask will not spread. Also, try to avoid touching the outside of the used mask. Practicing good hand hygiene is the most important thing when trying to avoid infection. Wash your hands often with soap and plenty of water. Soap will not kill the viruses, but abrasiveness of soap helps remove virus particles from your hands. Wash your hands for at least 20 seconds. Make sure to clean also the backs of your hands and between your fingers and under your nails. Washing hands especially before eating is important. Always avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth with unwashed hands. You can also use hand sanitizer to clean your hands. Hand sanitizer will kill over 99% of the cells, so it's really effective tool for hand cleaning. Note that hand sanitizer can't remove dirt and grease from your hands effectively. Thus hand sanitizer alone won't always kill all the germs. If pathogens are hiding under the protective layer of dirt or grease, they can survive. 
hand sanitizer doesn't replace water and soap, but with regular hand washing, use of hand sanitizer definitely helps to kill pathogens. If you have infection already yourself, you can protect others by practicing good hygiene. Cover your mouth and nose when you cough or sneeze, as this will prevent virus droplets enter the air and surfaces. Sneeze and couch into a tissue and then discard the tissue. Don't sneeze or couch into your hand. Always wash your hands after sneezing. Also, disinfect the objects and surfaces you touch. Clean your personal items, like eating utensils, clothes and bedding properly. Disinfection of surfaces is a big part of a good hygiene measures. Note that this video is for informative purposes only. Information and advices given here are not necessarily correct according to most recent or your local medical practices. Always seek professional medical help and advices from official sources when you are in doubt.